Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you had a great weekend. I hope that you celebrated Memorial Day weekend, and I hope that you did something fun. And today we're going to read a story and we're going to be talking about our friends and what makes a good friend. And I know some of you are missing your friends, especially your friends at school, because you can't see them every day. So I know I asked you before, what makes a good friend? Let's think, what makes a good friend? Are they kind? Do they help you? Are they a good listener? These are all things that make people good friends. They help you when you need help. They do nice things for you. And you usually do those same things back because you have to be a good friend for you to have a good friend. So since some of us miss our friends, we're gonna read a fun story today about a fox who wants to make some new friends. So let's go along for the ride and listen to our story. I am going to share my screen with you. The title is called Let's Be Friends because everyone could always use a good friend. And when I stop the story and we come back at the end, I want you to be able to tell me some characters that were in the story, some people she met, and also, again, what makes a good friend. So let's go ahead and I will share my screen with you. Let's be friends. Here we go. Let's be friends by Marshall Bex and Ali Stahl. Early one morning, just as the sun was starting to rise, Rosie woke up, stretched, rubbed her eyes. It's a brand new day, she exclaimed. I just know there will be so much to see and do. I can't wait to go out and play. Rosie looked all around for a friend to play with her, but there was no one else there. I guess I'll just have to go play by myself, she sighed. So Rosie started off on her adventure all alone. It wasn't long before she happened upon a strange looking creature. Rosie scurried over to investigate. You don't really look like a fox, said Rosie. Squeak, said the little creature. You don't really smell like a fox, said Rosie. Squeak, said the little creature. And you don't really sound like a fox, said Rosie. My name is Colby, and I'm definitely not a fox. I am a mouse. Will you play with me? Rosie asked him. Of course, said Colby. The two new friends took off to play. Rosie was so excited to have a friend to play with that she started to run faster and faster and faster. Wait for me, shouted Colby from behind. Let's play hide and seek, said Rosie. Great idea, I'll count. Colby covered his eyes. One, two, three. Ready or not, here I come. Rosie and Colby were certainly enjoying their fun day together, but they were running out of things to do. Let's go swimming in the pond said Colby. Great idea, said Rosie. She took off running towards the pond with Colby hanging on to her tightly. Over by the pond, there was a little goslin named Puddles who was wishing he had some friends to play with too. Stay close to the pond where I can see you play, Mother Goose instructed. Okay, Mama, said Puddles. Puddles looked all around for a friend to play with him, but there was no one else there. I guess I'll just have to go play by myself, he sighed. Just then, 
Rosie and Colby arrived at the pond. They were about to jump into the water when they noticed a strange looking creature. The two friends scurried over to investigate. You don't really look like a fox, said Rosie. Or a mouse, said Colby. Punk, said the little creature. You don't really smell like a fox, said Rosie. Or a mouse, said Colby. Punk, said the little creature. And you don't really sound like a fox, said Rosie. Or a mouse, said Colby. Punk, my name is Puddles, and I'm definitely not a fox or a mouse. I'm a gosling. Punk, will you play with us? Rosie asked him. Of course, said Puddles. Puddles ran up to Mother Goose. Can I go play with my new friends? He asked. As long as you play here in the pond, said Mother Goose. Let's play! The three new friends jumped into the pond. They played and swam and splashed around for hours and hours. After they had finished swimming, Rosie wrapped her new friends in a great big hug. I am so glad I found some friends today. After a long day of playing, just as the sun was starting to set, Rosie and Colby and Puddles yawned very tired yawns and rubbed very tired eyes. Then they all cuddled up next to each other and fell fast asleep, each one dreaming about the adventures they would have together tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna come out of it or stop sharing. But my mouse is, I don't know what it is doing. Okay. Um, Here. Okay, we're back. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed that story, Let's Be Friends. And as with any story that we read, it's always very important to talk about the story element. So the first one that I am going to ask you is who? Who were the characters? So I gave you the first one. The first character that we met was Fox. Who can tell me some of the other characters? The mouse was another one, so I'm going to write mouse. Okay, so we have fox and mouse. Who are some of the other characters that we met in the story? There was a butterfly flying around, so I'm gonna write butterfly. Okay, so now we have fox, mouse, butterfly. Who was swimming in the pond? Who was that character? Yes, the duck. Okay, the duck was a character. So we have four characters. These are just some of the characters that were in the story, but you did a great job. Fox, mouse, butterfly, and the duck. Okay. The second question, the second story element that I want to focus on today is what are some of the games that they played together? What did they do together? Okay, this can also link to the where. What and where did they, did they go? Okay, so I gave you the first one. They played hide and seek at the beginning. What is something else that they did together when they met each other? They went swimming in the pond. Okay, they went swimming in the pond, okay? Hide and seek, swimming in the pond, okay? Now I want you to think of what are some things that you do with your friends, okay? 
what are some things that you do with your friends when you see them face to face? So that would be the next thing. We could kind of make a list. What are some things we do with our friends? And I would love to know what you do with your friends. So Miss S likes to play, play tag. So I like to play tag with my friends. And that is a complete sentence. So what do you like to do with your friends? Miss S has another one for you. I like to dance with my friends. So I want you to think about what are some things that you like to do with your friends and that might help you answer what makes a good friend. Because if they like to do things that you like to do or they try something that you like to do and you try something they like to do, that makes a good friend, okay? They care about things that you care about. All right, so today we read Let's Be Friends. We focused on two main story elements, the characters, the who, and what, what did they do together? And now I want you to think about what do you like to do with your friends? And you're gonna think about it and you're gonna answer that in a complete sentence. I like to blah, 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 blah with my friends. Okay, and if you're feeling really smart, you can go ahead and write that down somewhere on some paper. And I'd love to see that. So I hope you have a great day. I hope that you get to see your friends soon and do those fun things you like to do with them. And I will see you later on this week. Great. Ooh.